Hi, this lesson is on adding subtracting fractions, specifically with unlike denominators. Our sixth graders are learning how to do this through the College Preparatory Mathematics Program, also known as CPM. They're using the area modeling to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. Let me go ahead and show you how to use the area modeling. So the fraction we're going to work on right now is one third plus one half. So when we talk about one third plus one half, we're saying the whole is three right here, but part of it is shaded and the part is one that is shaded. Same thing with this one. We're going to say two is the whole, but of the two holes, one is shaded. So let's see the representation for that. The representation looks something like this. We have is three, one, two, three, and of the three, only one is shaded. So which is this one that's shaded. Same thing with the half. We're gonna have is two is the whole, so that's one, two makes a whole, but of the two, only one is shaded, which is this right here, okay? We have a problem though, because when we try to add one third plus one half, it's not the same amount or the same pieces. So we have to find what we call the common denominator to make them the same amounts on both purple and the pink so we can put them together. So what we're gonna do is divide the vertical boxes right here with horizontal line right here. So this is layered on it. Uh, I'm gonna put it underneath it so you can see what happens, but it's technically the same number of boxes right here. So it looks something like this. I took this box right here, which was the three vertical pieces right here, one, two, three, and I cut it up or divided it into horizontally, this piece right here on top of this right here. So we have then is the number of pieces is six, right? Because one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's do the same thing for the half. We're gonna divide it up this time vertically, this direction, so we're gonna divide it up vertically. And this is what it looks like for the representation. So we took the same box right here, nothing has changed right here, but we divided up vertically two more or three more boxes right here. So that's gonna give us then one, two, three, four, five, six. This is six, so is this right here. Now they have the common denominator, and so now we can talk about is the number of pieces. So I used this reference as well before. Um, when I have something like this, let's say a square pizza, if there's only two of you, you can divide the pizza up into two parts, and one person eats it, and the other person's like not hungry, and they can hold off to it, that's fine. But let's say you had more people visit, and you had six people visit. Well, if you have six people visit, you're not gonna go out, well, you could go out and buy a new pizza, but let's say you just had this piece and you could divide it up into six parts instead, right? It's the same size right here, it's the same size as this right here, but you just divide it into six parts so that more people can eat it. So it's the same idea, we're taking a fraction, we're not changing the amount of fractions, we're just taking the same fraction, but dividing it up into more parts, and the parts get smaller and smaller, obviously, if there's more people, right? So if you have a pizza and there's more people who want a piece of that pizza, you're going to have to, you know, cut up into small parts, whereas if there was only two of you, then you get bigger pieces for that, okay? So it's the same idea. So now let's go ahead and continue. So now if I had this, let me go back and lay it out, I have now is two six, because I have two that are shaded out of the whole of six pieces right here, that's what this represents, two out of six. And then I have the other one, which is then three, right, out of six, because there's three that are colored out of the whole, which is the six right there. Now, if we put it together, we're gonna have is that still the two from the red or the pink, and then three more from the purple. And so together, we're gonna have five six that are shaded. So as long as the denominator down here and down here are the same, now we can add the numerator because then I can actually lay out these little pieces on top of this and we're talking about the same amount as a whole. So that's what you want for the common denominator is to figure out is what is that same amount for both of the boxes that will make the same whole. Okay, so let's go ahead and try another problem. So I have is three fourths plus one fifth. So on the first box, I'm gonna have is a whole is four, so I have four boxes, 
But of the four boxes, three are shaded because the numerator appears as there are three. So I have three boxes that are shaded out of the four. And the same thing for the next one. I'm going to have is a whole is five, but of the five boxes, only one is shaded. So it looks something like this. Okay, so again, we still have a problem because four and the five are not the same amount. I mean, just even looking at the pieces, the four looks bigger pieces than the five does, right? So we want to make sure they're the same amount. So now we're going to take this box right here and we're going to cut it up horizontally, the same number of boxes, horizontally this. So I'm just going to layer this now. So it looks something like this. Nothing has changed. I just put in lines to divide it just like this. So I have in is one, two, three, four, five. So I should have is one, two, three, four, five now. So same thing. Now on this box right here, we're gonna have to go vertical, right? So if we do vertical, three lines, then we're gonna have is one, two, three, four, which is the same amount as this one, two, three, four. Okay? So together this is four times five, so there should be 20 boxes total. So if you want to count it up, go ahead and count it up, but there should be 20 boxes. Okay, so as now both of the pinks and also the, per, uh, the blue have 20 boxes, now they're equal denominators and we can now play with the fractions. So the new fraction that we have of the pink is how many shaded? Well, we have is 15 out of the whole of 20 that is shaded. What about the blue? we have then is four out of the 20 that is shaded. So then together, the pink is 15, we add four more, we should have then is 19 out of the 20 that's shaded, okay? Now let's try something else. Let's try um, the subtracting or the minus or the takeaway, right? Same concept, but this time we're gonna take away as the students will say, right? So if we have one third minus the two sevenths, then we're going to have a box that, that are divided into three parts. And of the three parts, only one is shaded. Then the second box should have is seven pieces, right? And of the seven, only two is shaded. So now together, we're going to make it where the boxes are the same amount. So the first box, I've divided it vertically. So now I have to divide it horizontally on the next part. So it looks something like this. And that's going to give us the new fraction of 7 over 21. Because if I go ahead and count this up, I have is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? Out of 3 times 7 should give us a 21 right there. Okay, now let's try the second box. So the second box now, I'm going to go ahead and divide it up vertically. And so now the new shaded part changes to 6 out of 21. So now together the denominators are the same, so we can go ahead and put those together. So again, this is gonna give us then the seven boxes that we see originally, but we take away six. So if I take away six, then I have is only one out of 21, okay? Now let's try number four. So four is two thirds minus the one fourth. So let me go ahead and give you some time on this to work on it. And let's see if you can come up with the total number of boxes that both of them should have in common, and then from there, the new shaded. So go ahead and pause the video and work on it, and then come back once you get your answers. Okay, so let's check your work. So on the first box, or actually the total number of boxes that we should have, should be then divided into three, right? and only two of the three is colored. And then on the second one, we should divide it into four parts, and of the four, one of them is colored. So together, they should have is 12 as a total. So now that changes it to eight out of 12, and the second one should be three out of 12. So then together, if we subtract or take away three out of the eight, I should have then is five out of 12. Okay, let's try number five, same thing. So go ahead and take some time to do this. And if you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause it and work on it. Okay, so let's come back together and let's check your answers. So the first box I have is one fourth, so I should have is four boxes, right, divided, and of the four, only one is shaded. 
And in the second box, I should have seven parts that are divided, and of the seven, two is shaded. So the total number of boxes together should give us then is 28, right? So of the 28, the first box should have seven pieces that are shaded, and the second box should have eight pieces that are shaded. So together, the seven plus eight should give us then 15 out of 28. Did you get the right answer? Okay, let's try number six now. So same thing, go ahead and pause this video and go ahead and just try it and then come back when you finish with your answer. Okay, let's check your answers. So in the first box, I have 10 parts that are divided and of the 10 parts, four is shaded. And then the second box, I should have is seven parts and of the seven parts, two is shaded, right? So we should have something like this. Okay, so so far it should be good. And then together, the number of total boxes or the common denominator should come out to be 70. Did you get that? Okay, so now the first box. So the first box, if I had 10 and then turn into 70, the new number that is shaded should give us 28, right? 28 shaded. And then the second piece, when we had seven and it grew into 70 pieces, then the top part or the numerator or the number shaded should change to 20. So if we have 28 minus 20, right? Then you should have only eight that is left. So eight out of 70 is your correct answer. Okay, did you get that? Good. So now go ahead and try that again if you need to rewind this video or go ahead and practice some more.